the ICU at the moment and it's a, it's a difficult moment because you know, there's a patient just behind us who's being what, what has been described as prone, which means where the guys are going to have to flip him over onto his front and as you can see there's a huge team operating around him because this is a quite an extensive procedure and I've been told here it is very much a last resort. Unfortunately, this is a gentleman who has got more ill as time has passed. Ventilation is no longer working for him and this is really the last kind of throw of the dice um, as he tries to fight off coronavirus. It's, you can see the kind of pressure that people are under as they try and fight to keep people alive. So obviously we're here in the, in the ICU. Um, Covid hasn't gone away, has it? No, no, definitely hasn't. Um, we've, as you can see, we're quite busy. Um, we've got a number of staff nurses here treating a very sick patient, um, surrounded by other staff members. Um, this is the reality of it. Um, there are people out there that don't believe that this is happening, but this is the reality. How hard has the past couple of months been for you? And really hard. Um, it's been emotionally draining, it's been mentally draining, it's physically draining. Um, it's so hard to to keep the morale going, but as a fantastic ITU team we are, we have kept each other going at all times. We're, we're not there just yet. Um, we do need the people of Liverpool to continue doing what they're doing. We need them to keep with the guidelines, we keep them, need them to keep washing the hands, social distancing, and we need them to really think about what they're doing because the reality is this could happen to any one of them out there. It's been quite a distressing experience uh, being here in the ICU at the Royal Liverpool Hospital. What struck me really is that the age of the people that we're seeing and who are severely, severely ill with COVID-19. One gentleman just previously healthy, he looks in a really bad condition now. Another gentleman, just 57, again with no pre-existing conditions and you know they're, they're sort of at the last resort in terms of how they're treating these people. Just speaking to some of the staff, it's very clear that COVID is still very real here in Liverpool's hospital. It hasn't gone away and they really are relying on people doing the right things to make sure that we see less of the distressing scenes that we've seen today. It has to be said, the staff members are working extraordinarily hard. They've been through all sorts over the past nine months and they're clearly leaning on each other to get through these difficult times. It's been amazing to see them in action and we all owe them a great deal.